Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at the dangers of using Windows 7 in 2022. Now, I know quite a few people are still using Windows 7, and of course, it is one of the most favorite operating systems of all time for a lot of Windows users. Unfortunately, without security updates, you are a sitting duck for ransomware and other types of malware. And probably worst of all is the uh, zero day uh, malware, which antiviruses are not going to be able to protect you from, and especially on something like Windows 7. Now, I know people don't want to hear this and have got their head buried in the sand, and they think that they are so clued up that nothing is going to happen to them. And they're going to continue to use Windows 7 because they don't like Windows 10 or Windows 11. And that's their choice. They can continue to use it. Now, obviously, having all of the updates on Windows 7 is super important. There's not much more you can do once you've fully updated it. Now, there was the extended security updates program, which Microsoft released. And this was a paid service uh, for companies to receive security updates for another three years but they had to pay a premium to receive those security updates because they refused to upgrade to Windows 10 and they wanted to stay on Windows 7 because of financial uh, commitments with their software and other things like that. So you can still download updates via Windows 7, but there's a limited amount of updates. And once they're installed, you won't receive any more. So people might get fooled into thinking that you're still going to receive updates, but these updates you're getting here is to bring it up to the very last update uh, when it happened before end of life. So basically, that is all you're going to get. And that means that you are not getting any more security updates for Windows 7. And that alone is probably enough to convince a lot of people that they shouldn't be using Windows 7 in 2022. Now, there is some measures that you can take to secure Windows 7 a little bit better. And I'll make another video uh, for those people that are adamant that they want to stay on Windows 7. And I'll make a video showing you how you can secure Windows 7 to the best of your ability with some of the free software available out there. But after that, without security updates, you are literally a sitting duck. And I mean, without these security updates, you're going to be having major security flaws or vulnerabilities in your operating system. So without uh, Microsoft releasing these security updates on a regular basis for you, you are literally, uh, you know, having an operating system full of holes, a little bit like Swiss cheese. It's going to be so vulnerable the more time it goes on. So every month that goes by, there's going to be no security updates being released, not like uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11, where you're getting uh, Patch Tuesday and security updates uh, which are being released to that operating system. And let me tell you, if you look at some of the lists of updates and security updates they are releasing for Windows 10 and Windows 11, you'll see some major security flaws with those operating systems. So I dread to think what it would be like for Windows 7 that has not had any security updates for a number of years. People could be coming in and out of your computer without your knowledge, and that's because of the security flaw or hole that is in your operating system and it's not been patched. And this is the scary part. Now, of course, it's important to install Windows 7 with a trusted Windows 7 ISO from Microsoft. Also, it's important that you fully update Windows 7 with all the security updates that are available for that uh, operating system and then fully update all of the software that you're using for that operating system as well. Use an antivirus and a firewall as well that would be advisable but a hell of a lot of companies have moved away from windows 7 and they're not actually supporting windows 7 which means they're not actually releasing security patches for their software for windows 7 they're releasing security patches for windows 10 and windows 11 but they've just completely forgotten about windows 7 because it's now obsolete and end of life, which means that leaves you vulnerable if you're using Windows 7 in 2022. So no matter what you do to try to protect yourself uh, with uh, maybe software that you're installing and other things like that, you are going to be left vulnerable. Uh, and that's because of the holes and security holes inside Windows 7. And that's not fear mongering or scaremongering people. It's just a fact. If you look at the 
Patch Tuesday update notes for Windows 10 and Windows 11, you'll see major, major updates that they're releasing for these for security holes and also for, uh, you know, zero day malware. And ransomware is also another big problem for Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's got a lot better, but it's still possible to get infected on a modern day operating system, let alone an old operating system like Windows 7 that isn't getting patched anymore. And this makes you even more vulnerable. And it's as simple as this to literally get all your files encrypted. And this is the problem that people don't see. One click of the one wrong file and your data is going to be encrypted. And then you're going to be held to ransom by some cyber criminal. And, and this will be all your data. Now you may be saying, yep, well, I back up all my data. So if it gets encrypted, I just have to reinstall Windows and basically put my data back. And that is a, a simple solution to beating ransomware. But not everyone is as clued up as that, and they just don't back up their data on a regular basis. So even if you use a standard account, you can still be vulnerable to uh, ransomware and things like that. But it is a security uh, layer which you can add in. But again, it's not going to be able to protect you, especially when your biggest flaw is security vulnerabilities in the operating system malware ransomware and other nasties out there on the internet can use these exploits to gain access to your pc and infect you very easily and this is the biggest problem that you're going to face and it's not just things like that it's also software if software is not being updated for windows 7 this also leaves you vulnerable maybe a browser that you're using maybe uh, some sort of other software you're using on your windows 7 operating system it might not have been updated for many years now and again, this makes it vulnerable uh, and gives you a security hole in your system because of the, the software is not being patched. So these are the problems you're going to be facing if you're continuing to use Windows 7 in 2022 and for a number of years to come because you don't like Windows 10 or don't like Windows 11. And I've seen so many people saying that they still use Windows 7 and they're either completely stupid or they just don't have a clue about security and how vulnerable that operating system may be. And maybe they don't do banking online and they just use the computer for whatever they use it for, gaming and things like that. But you're still going to be vulnerable. It's attached to your network, which could be literally a gateway into your network and uh, be a security breach of your uh, home network so be very very careful thinking it's just your computer once they're in you know it's it can cause a major problem for you and another thing i just wanted to show you here is some of the security updates of late for windows 10 and some of these are major updates look at this list here and when you click on one of these months you'll see that there is major updates being released for windows 10 and windows 11 and these are major security flaws which they are patching. These are to do with the uh, Windows kernel and also to do with uh, print spooler and other things like that. There's just major lists of them here which you can click on. And these are all security flaws and security vulnerabilities that are being patched uh, by Microsoft. Now, of course, they're not going to be worried about Windows 7 because they've moved on from there. And uh, Windows Defender is another an issue here. You can see there's a big major list, and this is just in one little month. You can click on all of these, and you're going to see some major security flaws, which Microsoft are patching continuously every single day. They're finding uh, this remote code execution vulnerability here, and it's been fixed. Uh, unfortunately for Windows uh, you know, 7 users, they're not going to get this privilege of getting updates and security patches for their operating system because it's end of life. And these are severe high risk uh, vulnerabilities that are happening with Windows 10 and Windows 11. And these are being patched quite a lot uh, on a regular basis. And Windows 7 users are just not getting security updates for these. And the list just goes on and on. There's so many of them. And I just can't bear to think how people are just so gullible and either blinkered or blinded by not updating their operating system to a newer operating system. I know you're attached to Windows 7, but at the end of the day, you just have to move on. It's the way technology is. And just to give you some idea of the security for Windows 10 and Windows 11, some of the newer features they've added 
will reduce malware by up to 60% or more. And again, it's very, very difficult to infect Windows 10 and Windows 11. Uh, back in the day, I used to remove malware on systems just like this, and uh, it used to get infested with malware. Whereas nowadays, uh, you don't see that with Windows 10 and Windows 11. You asked any PC repair tech the last time they've removed any heavily infected Windows 10 or Windows 11 system, and it'll be hardly ever because they don't get that infected anymore. They're still vulnerable to ransomware and other attacks, but it's not as frequent as it was with Windows XP and Windows 7. Anyway, I think that will be about it. Just trying to educate people that are unaware or don't know about Windows 7 and its vulnerabilities. If you're one of these people that are going to jump in the comment section and say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never had an infection on Windows 7. Then good for you. You continue to use Windows 7. Maybe this information is not for you. And I will make another video for people that are adamant that they do want to use Windows 7 and maybe they want to use it in a virtual box or maybe they want to use it on their old computer. And I'll make a video showing you how to secure it up a little bit and make it a bit more safer for you to use in 2022. Not that it's advisable, but I will make that video showing you how to do that. And also we'll cover that in another video rather than in this video. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out goes to Gary Belts, PC Repair Tech, Mike Bigness, Welsh Tony One, Mar Sierra, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Phil's Computer Repair and Geo Sam. I really do appreciate the support. Have a great day and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.